May 12, 1925 was the magic day that brought us the legendary Lawrence Peter Yogi Berra. This week, let's celebrate and what would have been his 97th birthday with some amazing stats. In 1947, he hit the first pinch hit home run in World Series history. He also hit a grand slam in the 1956 Fall Classic, thus becoming the only player to achieve both feats. How's this for holding postseason records? 14 World Series appearances, including five in a row, a record 10 championships. Then add to that, Yogi is the all-time leader in World Series games, at-bats, hits, singles, and doubles. Think about it, his last World Series was in 1963, and he's still the man. One of two catchers to win three MVP awards, he's the only at that position to win in back-to-back -back seasons and was a top four finisher in MVP voting every year from 1950 through 1956. His 997 RBIs collected in the 1950s is the third highest of that decade, behind only Duke Snyder and Gil Hodges. He caught the most games in the 50s, including a record 148 consecutive without an error. His fielding average of 990 tied him for second amongst catchers that decade. We're all aware of his philosophies, known as yogiisms. Before we go, let me share just one humorous tale, as told by Bob Costas at last year's Forever Stamp unveiling in Little Falls, New Jersey. Some of you may recall that at some point in the early 1970s, streaking was something of a national craze. You couldn't go anywhere, just about, without somebody showing up in the all together and sprinting across the stage at the Academy Awards or whatever the, the case might be. And so Yogi is managing the Mets, and in spring training, a streaker strikes at a game in St. Petersburg, I guess. Whitey Ford and Mickey Mantle were honorary Yankee coaches, and as it happened the next night, the Yankees and Mets play in an exhibition game. Now remember, in the 70s, there's no internet, and mores were different. There's no pixelated photo of this guy running across the field. But word gets around, and, and Mickey says to Yogi before the game, what happened? Yogi says, damn this thing. Fourth inning, Seaver goes into the stretch, and here they come, three of them, stark naked, run across the infield, behind third base, jump over the fence, disappear into the parking lot. Mickey says, wow. Were they men or women? Yogi says, you know, I couldn't tell they had bags on their heads. 